All right, hello and welcome back everyone to the eighth episode of the new start series. Welcome back. I've been away some time, been working full-time job at the same time doing my master thesis. Oh my god, it's been a long time, but now I'm back. And today I'll show you why it's good to stay at level 50, 55 for quite some while, because you'll get a lot more drops from these things that I'll show you than if you were higher leveled. Here is just my wind resistance equipment that I use in temple. So it's really good to stay at this level for quite some time, get a lot of money because after you level 75 you need to go to grotto to level there and you need really good equipment in order to kill in there in grotto. So it's good to stay at, the, at this level for quite some time. But in this video I'll also show you how to level from 50 or 55 to 75, which is quite more easy than in grotto. And as you saw here before, I farm quite a lot in temple. I acquired a lot of wind resistance bonuses, items, as well as mystic bonuses, so that I can kill more efficiently here in temple. And these guys drop so many items, and you can really utilize this when there is an event, like the OK card drops or the, uh, the moonlight boxes, you drop a lot, a lot of items. But this time here, I just drop to get some good helmet bonuses. Hey, look what I found. A silver necklace plus four, full bonus for one one only. That's surely a bargain, I'm gonna switch that bonus. Ah oh, nice, I got 1500 HP, that's perfect. Now if I'm not gonna use it, I can just sell it for three one or something. And as you can see here, I finished another biologist quest and here I get 60 defense points permanently, that's awesome. And now here's the yellow ebony box, let's see what I can get. Ooh, gloves. And here I found a pair of earrings with 20% chance to drop double the items for 80 billion, which is pretty good price, to be honest. When you're at this level 50-55, you can farm in the temple, as I showed before, and in the demon tower, and you'll drop so many stuff, including the dragon stone shards, which enables you to really boost up your alchemy. From those about 80 core tachronis rough, I managed to get these many rare ones. And the next step after rare is antique, which is the one, of course, that you can sell. Uh, let's see what we can get here. So the diamond, nope. The ruby, the most important one, no. The jade, there we go, there we go. One antique, all right. The sapphire, we didn't get any. Here we go. Ah, oh, another antique. And the onyx. Yeah, another one. All right, so we got three antiques. That's pretty good. Farming medin stones in Mount Sohan at this level also gives you a lot of drop. Killing in redwood at this level is of course something you should be doing to be able to get the thief gloves, the double drop gloves. And once you manage to get your first pair of thief gloves, you'll have a much easier time to get more of them and even get more drops from other stones. All right, and what is met in two without a bit of gambling? So we are already now preparing for Grotto, which we will be leveling in from level 75 and forward from there until 90 uh, to 95, I believe. And so in doing that, we need lightning resistance. And that is why we will upgrade these copper necklaces. And hopefully we can get one to plus nine. Let's see. Shit, that's the third one failed. Okay, come on. The fourth one, come on. No. Okay, whew, we got a fifth chance, come on. Oh, we just want to have one left. If that one fails. Yes! Alright, the first item secured for Grotto. Nice. And here is the first time I killed the nine tails with this new character. That's always a achievement, sort of. And if you're really lucky, you can even get the thief gloves from its chest. So, you know. Here I was really lucky when I was killing the Shung. I managed to drop an ebony earrings with strong against devils 20%. That's, that's gonna come in handy for Grotto as well. After necklaces comes shoes. And it's the wooden shoes that we want to plus 9 since they, they got the lightning resistance. So, same principle, let's make them plus 9. All 
Alright, let's try and make them plus 8. The first one. Okay, good. Let's fail a gold threaded shoes now so we can make the wooden plus 9. Damn. I wanted it to fail. Can I fail this one though? Nice. I want to fail one so I can make it uh, the wooden one plus 9. Ah, I made 3 plus 8 in a row. Let's see if we get a fourth one. I. Ah, now we'll just fail. Ah, oh, nay, nay, nay. I only got. Okay, I got 2 plus 8. Nice. I really just care about the wooden shoes. I don't care about the gold thread shoes. Come on. Come on, come on. Here we go. Yes! Okay. Oh, shoes secured. Nice. Can we get the other ones plus 9 as well? <laughs> the winner row. That's just my luck. Alright, how about the second wooden shoes? No. Alright. But the golden. Oh, damn. Okay, so three shoes to plus nine. That's insane, actually. I participated in the Moonlights event and I was killing in Temple. And as you can see, the drop here is just insane. I dropped so many stuff. So, in four hours, I managed to get 750 Moonlight boxes, which is... Which is alright, I think. That's pretty good. And I also got a lot of King's cards. Okay, can we continue our luck with the upgrade? Let's go for the Ebony Earrings. Alright, plus 8. Let's go straight to plus 9. No excuses. Ah, alright. I take it. Can we make this armor though? No. The upgrading went so good today, so I just figured I'll make some more. So here's just me trying to make as many as possible to plus seven. And there we go. Quite many of them actually. At level 55 you can kill in the ghost forest pretty efficiently. They don't do so much damage, these creeps. The drops here are not that good, but it's not so much competition here. One of my favorite places to farm at this level is actually in desert. Killing this level 50 metin, the metin of toughness, drops so many good stuff. Like, just look at this. I don't need to say anything, just look. There's not so much competition here out in the desert either. It may be a little bit harder to find the medin stones, but yeah. Okay, so for the upgrade of the copper necklaces, I needed a lot of red hairbands, which are pretty expensive. Six million each. But that's alright. Okay, here we go. We have loaded up with cash and items. Let's see what we can get. Plus eight. Okay, so we got 5 to plus 8. Hopefully we can get another one to plus 9. Oh, okay, okay. At least we got one. That's still profit, I think. Okay, two more to go. That's definitely a profit now. Can we get the third one? Yeah, alright. <laughs> okay, yeah, nice. And for those of you who haven't opened any Moonlight chests, here I just open all 750 of them. I don't really care. And I wanted the Blessing Marble to uh, 
to put on the fifth bonus on certain items. So here's what it looks like. All the language books and the language rings I just drop to random beginners because they think it's fun to use them and they can sell them for quite a, yeah, quite a bit of money. It's quite fun to see them run around. So here is what I got from 750 moonlight boxes, moonlight chests, whatever. So it's uh, pretty good. I got 43 blessing marbles. And from the event I also managed to get some king's chest which I open here. Let's go to, for the silver king's loot. Oh, a Rassador's egg. That's worth like 50kk, I think. Some fireworks. And a blue pearl. Let's go for the golden. Magic stone. Nice. With this I can upgrade an item without the chance of it being downgraded. That's nice. I have a few more silver king's loot. Let's open this. Fireworks and ah, potion of haste. And here's the first time I killed the queen spider. As you can see at this level you can kill a bunch of different bosses pretty easily. Or maybe not easily but it's, man it's manageable. Alright, so now we're gonna level up from 55 to 75, and that you do in Cave 2. So there's currently an ongoing XP event where it's 200% more experience, and also the event had this pet and leader book which enables me to get another 100% experience. So I guess this is gonna go pretty quick. So this actually happened, I made 5 levels in 1 hour and 30 minutes, that's pretty fast. And here we go, I managed to make this character level 76 and now my buffer is level 75 so we are ready for Grotto. So I made this armor with lightning resistance, just a preparation for Grotto, it's only, it's only important to have the lightning resistance, it doesn't really matter what plus it's gonna be. The lightning resistance is pretty much the only thing that matters within Grotto. If you have 80-85% you're gonna be okay in there. The other thing you need is damage and the damage will come from having the strong against devil bonus. So if you can make sure to have it on the weapon, on the helmet, on the earrings, on the shield, on the bracelet, as much as you can, the more damage you have the better of course. And these items that I'm talking about, having the lightning resistance and the devil bonus, these are not cheap. Not at all, these are very expensive items and hard to get. So I highly recommend that you stay here between level 50 and 55 and farm as much as you can to get as many of these good items as possible. Uh, being between this level 50 and 55 you'll get insane drops from the events and by my opinion the events is where you really make the good cash and being level 50-55 is a really good level to be able to utilize all of these events to the fullest. Alright that wraps it up for this episode. As you can see when I hit level 70 with my shaman I got the concentrated reading and the exorcism scroll which enables me to read more of my books. And soon I will have the Grandmaster and Perfect Master of my buff skills. That's gonna help out a lot. Alright, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.